Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Electric Viking. Fantastic to have you here. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so, so you get new videos in your feed. Guys, Tesla is the world's most innovative company according to a number of awards it wins regularly. In fact, Tesla ranks on some of the world's most highly respected innovation lists in a clear number one, well above well above its next closest competitors, which are so far down the list that it's not even really worth talking about them. Maybe it is, but we'll make that in another video. Now, here is how Tesla survived chip shortages and even grew its production this year. And there are chip shortages, that's for sure. Here in Australia, it's hard to get a car right now. You want to, make, you want to order a car? You've got to wait a few months, maybe even longer, maybe six months, maybe even longer, maybe even eight months. You know what? This has never happened in Australia before. And it's the same in a number of countries all over the world. Chip shortages are causing enormous. Now, if you don't want to listen to the rest of the video, you don't have to. Here created a chip shortage that is definitely influencing Tesla. Tesla clearly would have delivered more and built more vehicles if they hadn't have been affected by this at all. Okay, so they were affected, but of course they've minimized the effect by replacing semiconductors with microcontrollers. Now, the semiconductor crisis has brought the entire auto industry to its knees. That's not an exaggeration. That's actually true. And the disruptions it's caused will be felt for many months, if not many years to come. It will be many years. In the midst of this logistics and manufacturing nightmare, Tesla has been, well, incredibly quiet for the most part. We've heard seen a few little tweets from Elon, but not much. And it's unexpected, seeing as its models are among the most microchip hungry. Well, there's an explanation for this though, as Tesla's Q2 2021 earnings update letter has revealed to us all. Here's what it is. Tesla has responded incredibly well to the global semiconductor shortage. And the reason for that is its unparalleled ability to react quickly and mitigate disruptions to manufacturing by innovating. Now that is the real reason. It's not what they actually did. It's the culture at Tesla, which is innovation. More specifically, the company has switched to microcontrollers instead of semiconductors to avoid many of the shortages affecting the entire industry. Now here's how Tesla actually explained the workaround in their Q2 2021 earnings update letter and call. Our team has demonstrated an unparalleled ability to react quickly and mitigate disruptions to manufacturing caused by semiconductor shortages. Our electrical and firmware engineering teams remain hard at work, designing, developing, and validating 19 new variants of controllers in response to ongoing semiconductor shortages. So I'm just going to repeat that, guys. Listen, our electrical and firmware engineering teams remain hard at work, designing, developing, and validating 19 new variants of controllers in response to ongoing semiconductor shortages. Now, this makes me wonder, you know, it's SpaceX. In SpaceX, they set up two teams to make the same rocket, two different teams, and they compete against each other. How many businesses do this? I wonder if they're doing this here at Tesla, 19 new variants of controllers in response. Are they making some of these? Are some of these 19 new variants set up to compete against each other to see who comes up with the best product and then share their knowledge later and then work on those together. I love this strategy and I think using this strategy in any business is a great idea. As a result, Tesla added that it was able to further grow its production despite the supply challenges in Q2. The microcontrollers along with developing firmware for microchips made by Tesla's suppliers helped the, well mainly US car company avoid production stoppages on many of its lines. Now, obviously, you wouldn't say the same about Tesla's Model S and Model X, which are going, it appears to me as though there's way more demand than what Tesla can supply. Now, that makes sense. It's got a new model out. It's insane. The long range is utterly, insanely fast. One of the fastest cars on the planet. No one's, no one's even talking about this, guys. But the Tesla Model S long range sounds slow, but it's damn fast. It's one of the fastest cars on the planet. And the Tesla Model X Plaid just happens to be the fastest production car. If you don't, don't know what production car is and you think I'm wrong, Google it. I'm right. 
Now, in the first half of this year, many automakers have been forced to slow or even shut down production because of these chip shortages that prevent the shortage to, from hitting US companies even harder. The Biden administration proposed a $52 billion investment into semiconductor research and manufacturing. So by 2047, you'll see the flow and effects of this proposed $52 billion investment. In all seriousness, a proposed $52 billion investment by a government might be approved in 2024, might start to have some flow and effects by 2027, 28, realistically. That's how slow these things happen. But not in the industry. In the industry, doesn't matter, subsidies or not, companies are going to work on this issue, Tesla's going to work on this issue, everyone's going to work on this issue, and they're going to find a solution. That's just the way the private sector works. Guys, we live on an amazing planet, changing at an insane rate. You know what? Human beings are not meant to be in this situation. We've never lived in history, at a point of history where things were changing so quickly. Never. Things are changing so quickly every day that my comment section is constantly flooded with information that is incorrect because people read it six months ago and still think it's true today. But it's not. It's updated. It's changed. Things have moved forward. Isn't it great? Thanks for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Good night. Bye-bye.